where chronic renal disease in cats is a top cause of mortality. The kidneys are normally vital in eliminating waste from the body, concentrating urine, and balancing the amount of water and electrolytes, such as salt, in the body. If the kidneys malfunction, it can result in two types of disease, acute or chronic. Acute kidney injury results in severe injury to the kidneys and can lead to sudden demise where the kidneys shut down. Aggressive treatment at a 24-7 veterinary facility is typically required to help minimize the risk of death. Chronic kidney failure, often called chronic renal failure, or CRF, occurs slowly, and cats may be able to compensate with this for months to years. Signs may be milder and more progressive. With appropriate diagnosis, nutrition, monitoring, and treatment, Cats can potentially live with chronic kidney disease for years. Clinical signs of chronic renal failure in cats include excessive drinking, excessive urination, such as larger clumps in the litter box bigger than the size of my fist, and yes, that's a petite female's fist, muscle wasting, especially over the back, weight loss, bad breath due to kidney poisons building up in the blood and causing ulcers in the mouth, esophagus, and stomach, sudden blindness or dilated pupils, unusual appearance to the eyes due to high blood pressure and retinal injury, drooling, lethargy, heat seeking due to low body temperature, dehydration seen as excessive skin tenting, pale gums secondary to anemia, decreased appetite, hiding, weakness, and twitching or seizuring in severe undiagnosed cases. The diagnosis of chronic kidney failure in cats is based on physical exam and blood and urine tests. In my opinion, any cat over 10 years of age should have blood tests done when visiting your veterinarian. And yes, that's every single year. This should include the following tests. A complete blood count, or what we call a CBC, which looks at the red and white blood cells looking for anemia and looking at the platelet count, a chemistry panel, which looks at the kidney and liver function, salt balance, blood sugar, and protein. A urinalysis, obtained by sterile technique, or what we call a cystocentesis, which looks for red and white blood cells in the urine, protein, or the presence of bacteria in the urine. A T4, or thyroid test, which looks to see if your cat has an overactive thyroid gland a urine culture, the most accurate way of detecting if there's a bacterial urinary tract infection, or a UTI, a urine protein creatinine test, often called the UPC, to look at the level of protein lost in the kidneys, a blood pressure, which should be approximately 120 millimeters of mercury, very similar to human beings, and very rarely, kidney biopsies. Most importantly, I'm looking at three main tests, BUN, creatinine, and the urine-specific gravity, which is the kidney's ability to concentrate urine, with normal being greater than 1.050. Most of the time, elevations in the BUN, creatinine, and another test called the SDMA indicate kidney disease and should be evaluated acutely by your veterinarian. With significant elevations, hospitalization may be necessary to put your cat on IV fluids to get these kidney tests down as low as possible. Keep in mind that these blood tests may be elevated from kidney poisons, such as Easter lilies or other types of lilies, from temporarily being unable to urinate from a urinary obstruction, or even from underlying kidney infections, what we call a pyelonephritis, which is when a urinary tract infection starts in the bladder and migrates up to the kidneys. Elevated blood tests or abnormal results may warrant additional testing. These may include x-rays of the abdomen to rule out kidney or bladder stones, or even an abdominal ultrasound to look at the architecture or inside of the organs. A veterinary specialist may need to do this additional workup. Underlying causes of chronic renal failure in cats includes pyelonephritis, an infection in the kidneys, glomerular nephritis, disease of the filtering unit of the kidneys, or even cancer. 
So is there anything you can do to prevent chronic renal failure in cats? Honestly, not really. Chronic renal failure is often due to scarring, injury, or potentially even inherited causes. There are a few things you can do to minimize the risk of chronic renal failure in cats, including keeping poisons like Easter lilies or any plants from the Hemerocallis or Lilium species out of reach, making sure your cat has fresh water available at all times, or even bottled water if you use well water or potentially high mineral content water sources, weaning your cat onto canned food, especially as they age, so you can gradually increase their water intake by grueling more warm water into their canned food. Making sure your cat gets an annual examination at your veterinarian, especially as they turn over 10 years of age. And lastly, getting annual blood work done at your veterinarian, including an annual blood pressure. Just because your cat may potentially be diagnosed with chronic renal failure doesn't mean it's a death sentence. There's a lot of things that we can do to help improve their quality of life and make them live longer.